today we will talk about something that has been happening from a very long time and the people are often scared to talk about yes today i am going to talk about the child sexual abuse that has a traumatic syndromes to the people who have suffered it the a lot of trauma the people have gone through and the recent studies have shown that not only the women but also the men are the victim of sexual child abuse we have been ignoring this fact that the child is a small baby and being abused by either male to male male to female or female to male so the story doesn't end on women these days the story is widen to males also we live in a society where we have been asked not to speak too much not to retaliate not to express especially these kind of facts but should this really be happening should this pain be in the mind of the victim forever should we take a step to move forward and speak about what the people have gone through about the trauma about the pain during the sexual abuse so recently i have been asked to talk about this topic and the person has also sent me a poem to speak about i would not reveal the name definitely for the confidential purpose but yes i feel that i would be able to express the pain in the words that the person has sent me so the poem is like that i was in pain no one could hear i got hurt but there was no tear people near by me were only judging every time i wanted to say something i was only fudging i wanted to be heard i wanted to scream i wanted to come out of this and wanted to dream i was looking at the faces of family and friends i expected them to hold me and say we will wear off your dents i tried to speak but i was only blamed i wanted to complain but i was only shamed one good day when i was depressed and dull a thought crossed my mind that made me sell a voice came out that whispered in my ears i heard that voice and shed my tears the voice told me you are not alone stand for yourself and stand for those my heart was wrenching and throbbing fast asking for myself how long will it last i need to wake up not for others but for me people have pain too it just not me let me hear the pain and reduce their sufferings too let not them another me who was alone hustling there is a so much agony and pain in the poem that i have just read in which the person is trying to explain that when the person try to talk about the agony and pain that what the person was suffering nobody was hearing it everybody was trying to blame it and that is the truth of our society because when parents come to know about it or when the people you talk to come to know about it they ask you to hide it they ask you not to express it but will that suffering end will that the will that the problem end the victim will continue to suffer and the culprit will continue to do it so this video is especially to create the awareness that express teach your child to express hear your child hear the people meal have been always taught that you are strong you can bear it but the trauma that is developed after that 
is lifelong. They are not able to express this because they have been told that they are men and they should be strong. It's not the story of about male and female. It's about all the children that have been brutally abused sexually, mentally, emotionally or physically. It's just a call to aware people so that they should be aware and the people or the parents or the guardians or the close ones to the people or the children who are not able to speak should be able to speak in front of you. Give them the environment that they should be able to express. Teach them that what is wrong, what is right. Don't let them suffer alone. Because the most traumatic events develop when they suffer alone. They are not able to speak. So as a family, as a friends, whatever you can do is just listen to them and give them the strength to speak about it. Give them the strength to retaliate. Give them the strength to fight that. A young children, when is getting abused, the family treats them like, oh, that is, that is our relative, we cannot speak. But why? Is your child important to you or the other person who is actually abusing your child is more important to you? You should be able to speak, whether it is your near or dear one. Teach your child to not keep the secrets. And somebody asks you to keep the secrets, come to us and talk to us about it. There are some body parts that should not be touched. Teach your child to, uh, fr from the age of 3, 4, whatever the age you are comfortable, but teach your child that. Teach your child to express more. Talk your child more about it. Don't let the child suffer alone. Don't let the trauma dwell in the mind of the child and the child suffer alone for the long time or the lifetime. So the story I have shared the poem I have read has been sent by a male who has been sexually abused during the childhood. So it's not only the female who are the victim, males are also the victim. The action should be taken against the abuser, not the male or the female particularly. So let's raise our hands and create the awareness that the people should speak about it. People should come forward. Children should come forward and talk about it. Not they should be asked to suppress the matter. Thank you.